Turn it out now. Come on. Come on. There we go. 90% of MMA is wrestling. 90% of the sex for successful guys is wrestlers. And me coming from a background where I come from, Arena's an elite wrestling program. The very elite, we have numerous freestyle All-Americans. I'm a uh, two-time uh, All-American in freestyle and Greco-Roman. I work harder than anybody else in the gym. I'm the first person to open this gym and I'm the last person to leave every single day. And I don't think this man's gonna outwork me. Conditioning. Mentally or physically, I think my heart's in it. I've done this for a long time, and I don't think anybody's got the heart I got. I've always wrestled bigger dudes. I've always fought bigger dudes. I've always done this. I've done this my entire life. I'm the middle child. I got bigger brothers. I'm the runt. Everybody's bigger than me. I like that. I like being the small guy taking out the big guy. The best thing about being native is the community is small. You have a lot of supporters. When you do great things and when you when you do bad things, you got a lot of people that's going to talk about you too. So my deal is to be one of the forefront runners to do something, make this a career for myself and for other kids to, for them to say, hey, that dude's from my tribe. He's shining in the rap hole. If he can do it, I can do it. I'm proud to be shining in the rap hole. I'm going to represent for my tribe. I'm gonna make these people say, man, that dude's a tough Shining Arapaho tribal member. We need to go back west and get more of those dudes. They're tough as nails, they knock people out, they stuff takedowns, they're exciting to watch, they're tough fighters, we need more of them. I don't think he's taking me down. I'm gonna take him down when I want, I'm gonna stuff him when I want, and I'm gonna slam him when I want. 